My message to the world is that if we don't populate the reef now, we have no chances. We have absolutely no chances. I'm Anwar Abdullah and I was selected to be the ADEX Coral Reef Ambassador. With that recognition, I am able to reach more people and travel to more countries to be able to do my project. The main target is to get people interested in planting coral. By doing that, we are able to catch up with the destruction. The locations of our program is based on many factors. Bohol, for example, was hit by earthquake in October 2013 and a few weeks later it was hit by a typhoon and therefore I think it is critical that we help them grow back the coral here. In other locations there are other causes of problem with the reefs. I've seen evidence of coral disease, I've seen evidence of outbreak of coral enemies like the drupella cell. When the drupella cell eats coral they release enzyme which is infectious to the coral. But the enzyme that leave behind will cause infection to the rest of the colony and eventually the whole colony will die. But why does it happen is also related to human activity. Tourism by far is the biggest income giving to the local community on islands around Southeast Asia. But because of lack of education in most areas, tourism has been made into a destructive activity. Too many boats in one bay or they do scuba diving without proper training and they damage the reefs. Basically, island tourism is dependent on the reef. Without the reef, without the marine life, there is no business. They come to island because they want the ocean. But if, if the ocean is dead, the tourism is dead. The coral reef is an important ecosystem which provides two basic criteria for living things. One is shelter, the other one is food. Unlike the natural reef, Artificial reefs don't produce food. It becomes a temporary shelter, yes. When an organism comes to it and shelter from predators, but eventually it has to go away from it to find food. Coral is a living thing. They spawn, they live, they reproduce, but they also become food. When they spawn, their eggs join the part of the zooplankton in the ocean that feeds all the whale shark and fossilias and plankton feeders on top and when they settle down they also feed the bottom feeders like the sea urchin so everything in and around the reef relies on corals if we can rehabilitate corals and we do it well the environment will be able to provide by itself again they couldn't sustain because we have been cutting off the cycle so now it's time to propagate coral to recreate the cycle again. The Coral Propagation Program is actually a, a very well structured education program that is designed to educate people how the coral propagation system is run. Propagating means like planting seeds of coral and then when it grows we use that to spread more of those species. In ideal conditions, I've seen them grow about 15 centimeters a year. The growth rate is very dependent on how much sun is getting, how deep you put it, what kind of current is bringing the food to them, and also will there be any enemies around. Even sometimes if you have a coral nursery, you cannot stop a turtle from resting on your on your corals 
they swim around there and this is their home, you know. Coral fragging is getting fragments of coral by cutting into small pieces. It's a very simple process using a special glue and a special catalyst and just a simple technique with the rock. Whatever we know now, use it and be active in coral restoration. Coral reef is a life-bearing environment. It's a life-giving environment. Meaning that if they die, we are in trouble. And the ocean is in trouble. When the ocean is in trouble, we are in a very difficult situation. <laughs>